Homo sapiens is part of a group called hominids, which were the earliest human-like creatures. Based on archaeological and anthropological evidence, researchers have come forward and said that hominids diverged from other primates somewhere between 2.5 and 4 million years ago. This would have been in eastern and southern Africa. Though there was a degree of diversity among the hominid family, they all shared the trait of bipedalism or the ability to walk upright on two legs. However, one thing that's been unknown for many years is the missing link. The missing link was a way to describe an extinct creature halfway in the evolutionary line between modern human beings and their ancient relatives. This came about when Charles Darwin said that humans descended from existing species of apes. Of course, this theory is wrong, and it's now accepted that humans and apes are similar due to a common ancestor. Recently, researchers have made an incredible discovery. A discovery has been made that details a nine-year-old boy who tripped over a rock in South Africa. According to the recent study, this has led researchers to discover a missing link in the human evolution. The findings have helped us to fill in a gap in humankind's history. It's believed this specimen can be placed between the three million old skeleton of Lucy and the handyman Homo habilis. Homo habilis is a species of the genus of Homo, which lived during the Pleistocene period. The remains of Australopithecus sediba may be one of the most significant discoveries of recent time. Researchers were able to find two skeletons of the new hominid species dating back two million years. These discoveries have helped us to understand unknown stages of early human development. Australopithecus means southern ape, a genus of hominins which lived around two million years ago. Researchers have now come forward and said that these hominins are closely related to the Homo genus. Scientists have said they were able to walk on two feet, but would have spent most of their time climbing trees. It's only now we're starting to understand our complex evolutionary history. We have found out they could have lived in trees for long periods of time. Why they did this could have been for several reasons. For example, it could have been because food was plentiful, or because they wanted to stay away from predators. A study of their hands showed they were capable of powerful gripping. This study has allowed the researchers to view this species in great detail. So what do you guys make of this discovery? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.